Oh my god, hey! Welcome back to my stage YouTube channel. It is me, Mickey Joe Theatre, and welcome back to Oh My God, Hey! A week in my very stagey life. I am joined today by... Aaron James. Hello, it's me. So, this week, um, we've seen a whole bunch of shows. Yeah. Um, and you're about to vicariously join us with five days uh, from a week of theatre going. So enjoy this week's episode of Oh My God Hey! If you enjoy this, make sure you're subscribed to my stage YouTube channel. Make sure you tune in again next weekend so you can see everything that we're about to do in this coming week. We have lots of exciting things planned. And make sure you go and find us both on socials. I'm at Mickey Joe Theatre. He is at Aaron James UK, A E R O N. And we are on uh, Twitter and TikTok and Instagram. So yes. you can go and find us there. Thank you so much for joining us, and we hope you enjoy Oh My God Hey! Oh my god, hey! Hello! We arrived to you today well rested because we have had like four days off yeah. from going to the theatre. No shows in four days, which is nice. Which, you know, we value that time because life is very, very busy. As much as a privilege it is, as it is to go to the theatre all the time, uh, we like a night in. But four in a row started to feel a little bit unusual. Itchy feet. Yeah, so... Itchy feet. Mm. Itchy feet, nice. I like that. So, um, very excited to be back in London today. We are in the West yes, of London, because um, we're at Westfield. Come on, Mickey. I'm better than this. We're in the west of London uh, this evening. Where We've I got used to live. Where Aaron used to live, yes. Uh, don't direct his fan mail there. <laughs> he doesn't live there anymore. But um, we're going to the Lyric Hammersmith this evening for Press Night of Othello. But before that, we're on a mission, because Aaron has become obsessed with galettes. Tell the people <laughs> what this is all about. So galettes are made with buckwheat flour. They're normally savoury. Um, but fun fact, because of what they're made with, they are wheat free and gluten free. So it means that I can have them. There you go, there you go. Um, so this is this has become a mission. Yeah. So we have them in Paris because they're a big thing in France, but I didn't realise just how many were in London when I was researching. Yeah. And it means that then it's a really easy way for me to get lunches, which is normally a real struggle, so I'm hoping that we can find some places now that will make lunch meals a lot easier for both of us. Yeah, we're investigating the concept of galettes as a viable snack food option. So we've come to Westfield to crepe affaire um, to have some galettes. And if I was to open a galettes place, I would call it Galettes Fall in Love, because I think that's I think that's very cute. Um, we're going to go get some galettes, and then we will let you know how they are. Okie dokie, here they are. Aaron, what have you got over there? A um, ultimate ham and cheese. An ultimate ham and cheese? What makes it yep. ultimate? Just lots of ham and lots of cheese and cheese on the outside. Oh, additional ham and cheese. I have a chicken and pesto situation going on over here. Um, mine's a regular crepe and yours is buckwheat. Mm -hmm. So allergen friendly. Love that for us. How exciting. They may not look like much, but I'm betting they're going to taste fantastic. Aha! Okay. Galettes and crepes done. Very nice. We had a nice little um, banana split dessert one afterwards that I didn't show you. I failed. Failed to document our dessert. Um, but we were eating it. Yeah, it was very good. We were eating it with a slight scent of haste uh, because it's time to get to the press night at the Lyric Hammersmith. So we're going to jump on the tube and head down the Hammersmith and City Line um, uh, back towards Hammersmith. And we have arrived. A couple short stops on the tube. And we are at, why can't I find it, why can't I find it? There it is, we're at the Lyric Hammersmith. Let me show you, let me show you what it looks like. So here we go, if you missed this giant thing that says Lyric, there's also one up there. Nice little light up signs on the building. And we're here to see, you can see a poster there above the door, Othello, the frantic assembly production of William Shakespeare's Othello. So you've seen this production before? I have, I saw it. Gosh, about nearly ten years ago. It's perfect. been yeah, it's been going around for a while. Um, it was it was filmed for digital theatre, wasn't yes. it? Yeah, it's a very good production. I know of it, but I've never actually seen it. But I have seen Othello twice. I saw um, two live streams of the National Theatre version and then an RSC version. Um, I haven't seen the recent one of the National, which is a shame because it would be lovely to do a compare contrast of the two, which are both in London at the moment. Um, but excited to finally see this one you're looking forward to it yeah it's so physical theater heavy front of assembly just very fun there you go there you go let's go inside and go see the show 
Ah! So we have just seen Othello. Not a lot to have shown you at that press night. We yeah. had we had some interval white wine in plastic pint cups. That was that was nice. Um, but yeah, um, I love nice. The point of the theater. Yes, yes. It always feel it feels like a nice little just community hub. Yeah. I do like the lyric Hammersmith. It's a bit like a library. Yes, yeah. yeah. I get strong strong library vibes. Um, but there's nothing grandiose or or pompous or. Yeah. pretentious about it as a space. It's just, um, yeah, it just feels like a place where things are created. Um, yeah. And a beautiful, beautiful auditorium. Yeah. That does feel very classic and very striking. Very but, opposite to what you think it's going to be when you go in and go through the foyer. Yeah, yeah, very much a venue of dual characteristics. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm going to write up my thoughts on that one. That will be on my blog at mickeyjotheatre.co.uk. Uh, but we're also going to talk about our first impression thoughts. So if you want to hear what I have to say and what Aaron has to say about the Frantic Assembly production of Othello that we just saw that was intense at the end, um, and we have lots to discuss about it, uh, then click on the link in the description, join my channel members, and you'll get to see my first impressions series. So we're going to film that now. Uh, and in the meantime, we will see you very shortly for tomorrow. Oh my god, hey! Hello. Oh my god, hey! Hello! It is crowded here, it's raining. <laughs> I'd planned this whole lovely introduction outside the Dominion Theatre, and it's raining. Um, but we are at... Wait for the zoom. This is what we're at. We'll get there in the end. Oh, the neon, yes. Your focus, come on. If you can, if you can read that. <laughs> Ten points for deciphering the neon hieroglyphs behind my head. We're Dirty Dancing. It's the gala night for Dirty Dancing. And we've been told uh, to expect the time of our lives. Um, so, no laughter? I can't get... What? Time of our... Time of our... No. Yeah, no, no, no. Do you want me to clap? I don't know. <laughs> we're being ushered inside the building, so we're going to do that now. Yes. Okay. <laughs> We have tickets, we have programs, we have wine, um, which I feel like is a very important combination of things. It's a very starry evening. It's very busy. It's a I don't know if I said this outside, it's a gala rather than a press night. Um, and lots of celebs. Yeah. Lots of celebs. Yeah. Many celebs. Uh, many sparkly dresses, which power to them because it's freezing yes. and now raining. Um, like people have come in full drag, some of whom aren't even drag queens. <laughs> So there's that. Um, but yeah, everyone looks great. It's it's there's very much a buzz in the Dominion Theatre, by which I mean it's busy. It's very busy. Um, and we're gonna go and find our seats. But I also want to see if the merch shop is doing things. Yeah. My favourite thing about the Dominion Theatre is the little space uh, before you get to the stalls, which turns into a merch shop. So we're gonna go and have a look at that. Okay, so as promised, here's the entrance to the stalls of the Dominion, and then to your right is the merchandise space. They have this lovely glossy mural on the wall, and we can see some of the merchandise. We have t-shirts, we have cute little necklace. Baby, just don't keep it in the corner. Oh, there'll be lots of those jokes this evening. We have a nice Kellerman's t-shirt. We have a bear. We have a tote. We have a plush watermelon. We have hoodies. Let's take a closer look at some of these items here. We have a hug. Uh, I was going to say, why did you say a hug? We have a hug. I just called that a hug. That's a mug. <laughs> I know, I'm tired. We have a mug. We have these little water bottle situations. Here we go. Totes. There's the little necklace. I was showing you before. Baby! We have a little key ring and a sort of a. Oh, it's a magnet. It's a watermelon magnet. And then dirty dancing socks. I don't hate those. I feel like I might need dirty dancing socks in my life. Those have been great for teaching because it like looks like a black sock, but then beneath beneath your work trousers, sparkles. Secret dirty dancing sparkles. We have the CD and the DVD on sale as well as the vinyl. Look at that. Look at that. And then we have some more t-shirts and up above this t-shirt and this bear. I'm not I'm not sure how I feel about this bear. They could have sold this bear at Greece and pass it off with the same bear. I'm not getting Dirty Dancing from that bear. I want it to have, I want it to have uh, Jennifer Grey's hair and old nose for this to be convincing. Okay, we are in the stalls of the Dominion Theatre. We have taken our seat. This is our view of the stage. We are pretty close, as you can see. We are 
pretty close. Uh, we're in D9 and 10 of the stalls. Um, and I'm kind of living for this curtain. I was expecting just a big hot pink thing with Dirty Dancing written on it, but we have like the Kellerman's little cute proscenium arch here, giving me American vacation hotel vibes. Um, and I'm enjoying that so far. It reminds me of the film. I'm a fan of the film. So hopefully this is a sign of more good things to come. We will see. Oh my god, we have just uh, left the gala performance of Dirty Dancing. Look, now I can show you, hold on, now I can show you this LED marquee situation. Bear with me. There we go. This is the LED screen, if you can see that. It may be a little bit garish to the marquee traditionalists, but it does mean that they can have a rotating image. And earlier it said gala night. Now it's not changing, just to spite me, but... I promise normally it can. I will wait. There we go, gala opening tonight. Dead dozen. They have put a nice little thing on the front here. We'll walk around, we'll venture around the entrance to the tube. And here it is. There you go. Dirty dancing. The biggest live theatre sensation of all time. Who said that? Okay, I'm not convinced about that quote. The rickshaws know what to play, but there we go. All in pink, the Dominion Theatre for Dirty Dancing. So that was Dirty Dancing. I am pleased to have finally ticked it off. And I bought a watermelon. I'm carrying a watermelon, everyone. Oh, I love this. It's plush. It will live on because my sofa. Because of course he did. I have no, I have no shame. Have no shame. No shame about purchasing this watermelon. Um, we're going to chat about the show and share our first impressions. Um, me as someone who loves the film, Aaron as someone who has seen this production before and has opinions, and Ellie as someone who's never seen the film. Never seen the film, never seen the show, and now I've seen one out of two. There you go, there you go. So we're going to discuss all of that, um, and then that will be on my members only section of my YouTube. So if you want to see our first impressions of the show, you can head over there. But otherwise, I hope you've enjoyed coming with us to the gala night of Dirty Dancing. Oh my god, hey! Hello. We are back in London today. Well, today has been a day. Let me tell you. Let me tell you what's happened today. First of all, the theatre world has exploded with far so too much, much news. news. Um, so we've been very busy trying to stay on top of all of that um, and, and trying to get work done when exciting things are happening on Twitter every five minutes. Um, but originally, we were going to try and get rush tickets to Newsies uh, because we had it in our heads there were going to be some fun principal covers going on today, which is always exciting. We'll love to see other studies um, in shows, especially if we're seeing something for a second time. But then I immediately questioned whether that was even true and, and why we had that in our heads. Um, so we didn't. Um, and instead, we tried to win the cabaret lottery because we haven't seen this current cast and they're finishing at the weekend. Um, but predictably, we lost that. So at the exact moment, at half past three, when we found out we had lost the cabaret lottery, I immediately grabbed some tickets um, to go and see my friend uh, performing in an amateur production of Shrek. So we are journeying across the country. We're going into London, or well, we're already in London, and then out the other side. So we are. Uh, in the vicinity of Liverpool Street Station, and we just went to Farmer Jay's. Yeah, Farmer Jay. Farmer Jay, which um, Aaron wanted to take me to, which was amazing, and which made me really happy, because so often we have to grab food in a rush, and all of the fast food options that you have is usually it's very hard to like do something healthy and nutritious. But Farmer Jay is like this amazing, healthy. It's kind of like the subway of like healthy eating like you choose your base we had like a brown rice base they had like farmers grains as well and spinach um, and then you choose your meat uh, we had a nice I had a nice harissa chicken 
and then sides to go with it as well. We had sweet potato and cauliflower. Was it broccoli? broccoli. I confuse broccoli and cauliflower. That's just that's just a character trait that I have. Um, but really cool, really cool and healthy, which yeah. I value because it's not always easy to make healthy, nutritious choices when you're on the go as we are now. So now we are heading back into Liverpool Street Station to go and get a train over to Colchester, to the Mercury Theatre in Colchester, to go and see Shrek. Yay! Shrek-cellent. shrek day. Oh my god, hey, you join us mid-debate about what county we're in. I thought this was Ipswich. No, so we are in Essex, because Colchester is in Essex, and Ipswich is in Suffolk. Why does this keep happening to me? And Norwich is in Norfolk. Because Last time I was Essex. in Kent, I thought that was Essex. I think I just everything is just slightly skewed in my brain. Um, but we have been wandering around a slightly convoluted route. We've been here before. We came here for Good Luck Studio, um, the mischief show at the Mercury. But it was lighter then, and it's dark now, so we walked a slightly strange way out of the station, and now we're paying for it with this giant hill. Uh, but we are in Essex? Yes. Essex. We've arrived in Essex, in Colchester. Walking towards the Mercury, we are swampward bound to see some Shrek. It's going to be going to be Shrekcellent, Shrektacular, if you will, Shrekceptional. I need to be stopped. Here it is, just beyond the slightly imposing Victorian water tower. You can see the Mercury Theatre, and they have lit the the fly tower, or if not the fly tower, whatever that is, in green, which I feel like. It's in tribute to the community theatre production of Shrek being put on here this evening. How whimsical. Green theatre for Shrek. That's very sweet, isn't it? We're going to go inside because it's all so frickin' cold. Oh my god, hey, we're on a train back from Colchester. Aaron is deep in thought. Come here, Eden. Come here, now. Hello. We're on a train back from Colchester. We had a Shrekcellent time <laughs> this evening. It was, dare I say, Shrektacular. And it, it Shrekseeded my Shrekspectations. That's all I have. That's, that's all it is. Um, but we were there to cheer on my very talented friend who was playing an egg, um, which was hysterical in and of itself. And she also made these opening night gifts for everyone. She had one spare, so she gave it to me. But look! Look at this! Look at this, even a green ribbon. Look at this film realistic gingerbread man. How cute is this? They should sell these whenever Shrek is playing professionally. They should. Hit up my friend. She will make them for you. Not really, because she's far too busy uh, being an egg. But <laughs> um, very nice. I'm going to eat it now and tell you if it tastes just as good as it looks. This feels slightly brutal, um, but... Mmm. It's so good. It's soft. That's very nice. That's a nice moist gingerbread. I am the gingerbread man. Oh my god, hey! I'm sorry for the low. There you go. Aaron's eating crisps. We are on our way to the Vault Festival this evening. It is January uh, in London, which means the Vault Festival is back. The Vault Festival has not been a thing for years uh, because obviously I went for the first time in 2020, then the world ended, um, and then we had these kind of like half going back into lockdown situations. We haven't yet had sort of enough guaranteed stability until this year for the Vault Festival to properly come back. So very exciting that the Vault Festival is now back. This is a theatre festival, much like the Edinburgh Fringe, uh, which takes place in the vaults underneath um, and around Waterloo Station. So I'm going to show you. I'm in Waterloo right now. As you look at the platforms, I'm leaving at the exit next to platform one between the Lush and the Whistle Stop. And I'm going to exit here and I'm going to turn right. I am going this way. So then we're going to go down this road here and this is going to take us to the vaults. We have two shows this evening as well as the vaults um, birthday party launch event which is starting at half ten and carrying on till three. Will we make it all the way to the end? Probably not. We're not as young as we once were but um, we have to pick up a Sean. We do have to pick up a Sean. Many things do. We're parents now to a Bristolian man. So 
lots to do. Okay, as you carry on down this path, you're going to approach a slightly terrifying looking staircase. We're going to go down that staircase, it's going to take us into a psychedelic graffiti tunnel. You shall see. Down we go here. Down we go. And then you emerge into this, this lovely space here, home of the vaults. As you can see on this lovely little light up halo situation up at the top. You can't smell the aerosol fumes, but I can because these on the walls are constantly being updated. Um, it's very cool, very cool space. And there it is. You can't ask for much better signage. Here it is, the vaults. So when you arrive, you come into this little box office area, a nice little overhead sign that says it's good to be back. And you can see the tunnels down there, all these posters on the wall. It's very cool. It's great to just be at a festival that just celebrates all sorts of live entertainment. We have drag, we have comedy, we have burlesque. This is one of the shows we're seeing this evening, verbatim play, based on queer history. Very interesting. I am looking for the musical we're seeing before that, uh, but I can't find it. But I will, I will do my best to find you a poster at some point. These are the sold out shows for the day. So like the Edinburgh Fringe, we have multiple spaces down here. That's one there on the left. You have more down that way. But these are some of the sold out shows. Clown sex, right at the top. Gives you a sense of some of the flavor of the Fringe. And in clay, that's the first thing we're seeing. I've heard good things. <laughs> oh! I didn't get well. You okay, baby? I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop, are you okay? I am. Oh my god, hey! Hello. And, that's, and, that, and then there's Sean. And then there's me. We're in London this evening, ish, because we're in yeah. Wembley. And yeah. it's been a nightmare to get here. I will say, for everyone who's been complaining about Wembley, and we've been like, that's just Londoners, it's fine. It is difficult to get to from some places, because I was yes. coming from Paddington today and it was a nightmare. Um, but in Wembley this evening, guess what we're seeing? We're seeing Newsies again, obviously, um, because we were rushing this morning and obviously rush tickets go on sale at 10am on today ticks we wanted to see something tonight it's a saturday night uh, a little bit harder to get tickets and there's three of us which is always a challenge but we did manage to get three rush tickets to newsies so we're going to be seeing newsies for um the second time for aaron and i third time for you sean for me third time for sean um, but our first revert re re return visit since press night i've already been at the theater this afternoon my brain is tired um but yes I've spent my day in Reading. I went to the Mill at Sonning, which is a theatre, a dinner theatre, um, on George Clooney's private island. That's a true fact. Take that in. This is the show that we have come to see today. It is called We'll Always Have Paris, a romantic comedy. I like the poster, actually. It's very cute. Very cute poster. I love all of these converted theatres that were mills that have water wheels. I just really like it. I like the vibes. I find it soothing. So the lovely greenish body of water you're seeing in front of you is the Thames, looking lovely as ever. Um, and we are neighbouring George Clooney's house. I feel slightly like a paparazzo. I shan't zoom. I'm told he's not in. It's not a very warm time of year. I don't know why he'd be here. Here is today's menu. It's a buffet, so I'll be having everything. I think I've done quite well at the buffet. I have literally had some of everything. So this is this is now a food review, as well as a theatre review. I'm looking forward to the chicken fricassee. I don't think I've ever had chicken fricassee before. I've always wanted to know what that is. So we have arrived at the entrance. For newsies, you can't see anything behind me. You're just going to have to trust me. <laughs> there it is, it's newsies. Sean, so, so, oh, Aaron's the newsies. Look. I go over a fat cap, so it makes sense. You are the newsies. I am not dressed for newsies, as you may have Paris. noticed. You I don't know what I'm... <laughs> I've been carrying this all day. Okay, hold on, someone, someone film it. There we go. So, I'm... Got it down. I can't see what I'm doing. I've got this cute little bag. Um, Aaron got me this bag. 
Yes. Cute little bag. This is a Cambridge Satchel Company bag in partnership with the Royal Opera House. Um, which is cute, and so I was like, matching beret, but it doesn't, doesn't fit, fit anything. this book in. <laughs> I grabbed these two things this morning, I was like, cute, that's my day, long train journey to get to Reading for the theatre, and so I've just been carrying this book. This is a vibe though, I feel like, accidental vibe, I've just been one of those book people on the tube all day. He is the red beret girl. I am the red beret girl, I am the red beret boy, um, but yes. And the book, the book has been very good to me. This is the Cheetah Rivera memoir uh, that I got sent a few months ago that I'm finally getting around to reading. And it's sensational so far. I'm enjoying it very much. Uh, but yes, I was at the mill at Sonning this afternoon uh, on a little press trip with a bunch of other critics, having some lovely lunch, a little bit of wine, um, and a little bit of romantic comedy set in Paris um, called We'll Always Have Paris. Uh, the review for which I'm writing for broadwayworld.com. So that'll be on broadwayworld.com. And now, just chilling, no press obligations, for Newsies with Aaron and Sean. Aaron and Sean, what have you been at this afternoon? We have been at Arts End, and we saw their production of The Beautiful Game. The Beautiful Game, Andrew Lloyd Webber musical. With Ben Elton. In the Andrew Lloyd Webber Foundation. Yes. In the Andrew Lloyd Webber, so Andrew Lloyd Webber show in a theatre named after Andrew Lloyd Webber. Yes. A lot of fun. What a concept. I say a lot of fun. It's actually quite um, oh, it's very depressing. very sad. <laughs> you were talking about Beautiful Game. I was. It's very sad. No, I wasn't. I was talking about a beautiful game. That's what I said. You said the beautiful thing. No, I said the beautiful game. Lies. <laughs> oh, we, can we can watch, watch the it. footage. <laughs> we can watch the it footage. It's very, very, very sad and a really like difficult concept to watch on stage. Like, I can imagine how kind of polarizing the whole concept would have been when it was first stage. It's like it's about football, and you're like, no, not quite. It's about Catholic and Protestant Irish. Irish people against one another the IRA. Which, if anything, sounds much more fun to me than a show about football. <laughs> so, But the football is actually the stage. A very yeah, it was very entertaining. There you go. Yeah. Footballography. Uh, yeah, I dragged Aaron to see us a second time for myself. For a stagey two show day. Yeah, stagey two show day. And now, Newsies. Where is it? Newsies! We're going to go inside because it's cold and I'm filming out the front wearing a beret. And I feel conspicuous. We are at the merch booth and Aaron has bought a hoodie. I was tempted before I got it. We do like a zip up hoodie because so many yeah. of them just like pull over no zip. This it's, is a zip up hoodie. It's good for summer as well because it's quite thin. Yeah, and who will know? The world. The world. The world will know. Also, Sean has raised a very important question that I also talked about when we were here on press night. You have all these like serious cast portraits and then for some reason Michael's as Jack Kelly over here is just like a little is bit suggestive. Like just a little bit of a, a little bit of a vibe here in comparison with the others. I mean it could also be a skincare ad because the man is glowing. But no, no, I'm not mad at the concept. I'm just I question the artistic choices. But there is a there is a definite there's a definite difference here. <laughs> So we did not enter this way last time, but you get this whole immersive walkthrough experience. Sean, are you being immersed? I'm immersed. If I'm tired, I'm going to get a nap. Get yeah. Get Mid-show nap. I wonder if these get used. I don't imagine so. You don't want to be, you don't want to be lying down amidst all of this choreography. You'll seize. Santa Fe, la, la, la. to end the week what a Saturday night we're in Wembley we saw Newsies we loved Wembley Newsies <laughs> I'm really tired I'm really tired you guys 
We're gonna attempt to make our way back from Wembley, which I recall last time on press night was a nightmare. Although we stayed here for a while afterwards. Yeah, we were we had, quite late. We had the cute snacks. We did. They were I can't remember what they were. Little mini what? burgers Little mini... and. Oh yeah. What were we doing the day after as well? I feel like we were, having, we were about to have a really long day the next day. I think we probably did. We probably were. We probably were. You've seen our life. We did. <laughs> when do comment, we not have a really long day? Somebody comment below if you remember what we what did. What did the we next do the day, day after New Year's? I don't know. You don't have to. Don't feel like you have to go and look uh, this up. We can just. Actually, if you randomly remember right now. We ought to know, but but we don't. In any case, um, uh, I hope you enjoyed this this vicarious trip to Newsies. We had a great time. Um, uh, shout out to uh, Covers Did We See, Cover, cover Spot Conan. Did a great job. Maybe we can't tell you who it is. Very feisty. No, but we will check the program and we will find out. No, I just mean we can't because it's a secret. Oh, it's a secret. Then, then we won't tell you. <laughs> That's fine. You know what I mean. Then, no, I now know what you mean. Again, my brain is operating slower because I'm sleepy. But, um, had a great time. Yay, Newsies! <gasps> Thank you for watching this week's Oh My God Hey. Something I want to start doing in these. Rose and Thorn of the week. So like, highlight moment, doesn't have to be like a show, like what was your favorite show? Like highlight moment, and then like, least favorite moment. So, just to recap, um, obviously we saw Newsies last night. Um, I saw, uh, we'll always have Paris at the mill at Sonning. We had been to see the Dirty Dancing Gala night. We'd seen In Clay and Jason at the Vault Festival. And what was at the start of the week? Oh my gosh. Oh, Othello at the Lyric Hammersmith. Yeah. Oh, Shrek. 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 And <laughs> Shrek in Colchester. So what was like highlight best moment of the week for you? Maybe the Vault Festival vibes with In Clay. I really enjoyed In Clay and it was nice to see a new piece of musical theatre. Yeah. Yeah. Getting to talk to all of the people who were there afterwards because lots of musical theatre types were there. Um, uh, my highlight is going to be the... A rapper buns that we had at the vault festival um they were really really good i always get them and mickey's normally gets something else instead normally it's because we're at somewhere that does street food and i will go yeah. and get fried chicken if fried chicken's an option i will be getting fried chicken and i always um, get rappers but they're really good really good cornbread ah delicious so good. and then least and then worst moment of the week doesn't have to be a show but like what was the low moment of the week I can go first if you like. Yeah. Um, finding out that the reason it took us so long to get to Newsies was because Wembley Park Station was closed and we had to get a rail replacement bus back and then a whole convoluted route home. Just trying to get back from Newsies was probably the low point of the week. Transport was probably the worst point. But um, I'm going to word this carefully. Um, seeing something that I don't really know what I saw. That's Confusion. my word. My wording was a very confusing moment in both of our lives. There we go. And we will, we will leave that there. Um, but if you want to catch up on the reviews from this week, my Dirty Dancing review video is already up on YouTube. And um, uh, by tomorrow, reviews for Othello and the Vault shows that I saw should be live on my blog. My Millet Sonning review will be on Broadway World as of tomorrow, I expect. And uh, that is all the reviews I will have been posting of this week. Thank you so much for joining us for Oh My God Hey. I hope that everyone is staying safe and that you have a stagey day. For 10 more seconds, I'm Mickey Joe Theatre. Oh My God Hey. Thanks for watching. Have a stagey day. Subscribe. <laughs>